Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to dive into an exciting tool called Code Carbon. So did you know that tech industry contribute significantly to the global carbon emissions? So every line of code we write has an environmental footprint. So let's see one report of the carbon emission like net power consumption and what are the equivalent, equivalent how much net carbon equivalent like how much carbon emission it like you know if 496 kilowatt we used a power consumption like electricity then net carbon e e emissions equivalent is 527, 527 kg. The tracker keeps a record of the emitted amount of CO2 emissions produced by uh, each experience like there are different experiments done by this. It then saved this uh, data of the different projects allowing it to be combined and to viewed at larger organization level. So this is a projects or the carbon emissions done by one experiment by the you know projects alpha by one organization in uh, available in Canada okay and these are the, all the you know carbon emissions you know as you can see in the screen. This help developers see how much emissions their model training generate. The tracker also make this, uh, these emissions easier to understand by comparing them to everyday activity like how many miles a car would drive, how many hours a TV would be watched or how much energy and average US household use in a day. So this is the emission of the carbon impact. So code execution rely on server and data center which consumes a significant amount of energy. So the code carbon is a python library that empower you to measure and analyze the carbon footprint of your uh, python code. So this is uh, code carbon is a python library that will help you to calculate how much power is consumed, how much carbon emission is done by your code execution, any line of code executed. Okay, So you can see as a script, they have, I have taken some screenshot to how to install and how to call. Okay, I will, we will also see in the demo. So let's see some of the examples report of emissions report. So the first one is CO2 grams emitted of training bot language model. So you can see bot is a large language model. And this one is comparative study of emission of elements model, different models you can see bot fine tune, bot LM, you know, 6 bit transfers, you know, dense 121, dense 69. So these are different uh, elements model and emissions report are also generated. Okay, so you can see. And the tools also has a dashboard that illustrate how the emissions footprint differ when we cloud infrastructure is hosted on different domains. So this is emission across Amazon Web Services region on different uh, regions you can see and also the carbon equivalent how much and this is region carbon intensity of the electricity you can see and all these effect like uh, GPU, CPU, RAM all these combined calculated as CO2 emissions or the energy, energy consumption. So why should we care about code environment impact? So it is simple. As a developer, we all have a responsibility to be mindful of our digital footprint. By understanding the carbon cost of our code, we can make informed decision to optimize it for efficient and also it leading to be more sustainable development practices. So these are seen computational carbon footprint, how we can reduce, like we can track and reduce CO2 emissions, implement a strategy to lower carbon uh, footprint in computing practices, emissions tracking and mitigation techniques, monitor and manage computing emissions of the sustainable operations. So this is some simple way how we can you know um, reduce your carbon footprint by doing this effort. So now let's see carbon code in action with quick demo. We will install the packages, run a simple script and check carbon emission reports. Okay, so this is the code I have written. Okay, so let me first uh, explain line by line. Okay. So before going to actually run this code, we have to install some library, okay? And this is the official documentation, okay, here. So this library you have to install like uh, car code carbon, right? So in my system is already installed, but still let me cross check. If it's already installed, it will show you. So make sure you create environment variables, okay? I have created env here, and then inside env, virtual environment, I'm going to install everything, okay? And for pip3 because it's using for python3, okay. So let me run this one. So requirement is already satisfied. So in my computer already ins installed as. So actually, uh, you know, writing like you currently you are executing something, any computational task, 
you are performing on the computer any computational device so it will you know with the help of this uh, library you know with the with the help of code carbon library you can you know not even single line of code even you can you know uh, detect how much your currently device is running how much uh, energy how much uh, you know power is you know consuming and what are the emission of this power okay this also can be tracked without any executing the code okay so it's outside the code we can track of the this machine or device currently i'm using macbook okay so how we can do that so for doing so there is some uh, you know the official uh, github link of this website so this company or uh, this uh, library official website is this one okay so code carbon.io so they have developed this one okay so you can for no more information you can visit this website and this is of documentations part and this is a github so these are three important uh, you know link i will say in the descriptions okay so let me explain one uh, explain one by one so first you have to install this one i have already done here okay fine i am done already so doing the second so if you are using conda with the help of conda you want to install like if you are a uh, conda package manager you can install like this and now also uh, if you want to track how much energy emissions how much you know uh, energy consumption by cpu gpu and how much carbon emission is done so you can track from here so how you have to done so first you have to do uh, do like that you have to initialize the library okay see so if you run this one okay so this will create you can see here you can now store dot carbon code carbon dot config at root of your projects so whenever i run this line of code you can see there is one file is created like that okay so it's called experiment id okay so this is some uh, this type of template will be created now after that what you have to do you can run this line of code okay so code carbon monitor so now this will monitor energy consumption of your computer okay, or laptop okay so still i am not running in this code okay so you can uh, run this one anywhere but this will monitor your uh, energy consumption consumption okay so you can see it's running ask for it's basically computer password okay now is fine is correct uh, output is password is correct now you can see the current energy consumption by the this computational or this computer okay so it will show others detail like platforms my os i am using python version this code carbon version this ram you know capacity this one cpu count for this one okay now you can see how much uh, at the rate of kilowatt how much energy is our ram is consuming and this is the ram power is 3 watt okay total uh, cpu power 3.7 watt cpu will take this much energy okay and the rate is this one and, and you can see the electricity electricity used since beginning so whenever i started this code this kilowatt energy is electricity is consumed so you can keep tracking it will show you the details so similarly if you are running you know lots of ai models large language model computational more computational ex extensive work so you can track how much energy is uh, consumed by your, your computer how much computer means executing that line of code or whenever running some system at the now i'm going to show the same one same thing but now of the python code so see i have written this python code after installing this library Okay. so this library is important okay after this i have written this line of code import emission tracker class from the car you know code carbon so from the code carbon library i have imported this uh, class emissions tracker then after we have to call this function you know create an instance of emission tracker okay so i have created the instances of this one this is called tracker and then whenever uh, want to check the emissions so start we have to start tracking the emission so tracker dot start and then here you can write so this start and here is end so between this you can write any code okay so i'm just written this code to calculate sum of a square from one to okay one million this one and also if i, I can show you i have written some factorial code i can also show you how how it will take how much time will be there okay so python 3 this is a compute with emissions so this is a file name i'm just running this one 
So again, it's asking for password. So this is your computer password if you are used some password. This will also generate some CSV file where this data will be saved. Okay, I will show you. Okay, so you can see this is the result of our computational. Okay, so let me show you the different result. How um, like uh, once we are running this code, the different parameter will calculated. Okay, what is the result on this one? So once we are running this code, it will generate some emission.csv file. You can see here. Um, let me run this one. Okay, and again. If you are not able to see properly, let me show you from the file in the browser. So now you can see the result. Okay. So let me close this one. Okay. So this is our result. So maybe I have already executed this multiple times. So on 22, okay, 23 and 24. So when you are running this code, this will show you the result. Okay. So you, you can see on 23, I have run this code and you get uh, in this format project name code carbon duration 95 second okay this is emissions emission they did this one cpu power 7.5 okay what cpu power this one there is no gpu so there is nothing ram power is this one cpu energy how this much energy utilized gpu energy there is no any gpu energy okay so you can see the ram emissions ram energy this is also country name, you know, India, uh, the electric, electricity board, you, you can see the operating system. So all details, you, all details you can see, okay. So the carbon emission versions, okay. So log net load, line net load, and everything, all details will be stored by this line of code. So emission rated this, uh, this much emissions we have used. This emissions done by executing this line of code, okay. So let me change the code, okay. And if you run this one, um, let me run here. So both of them we are going to calculate, okay? And I'm going to call factorial, and then call the factorial of uh, how much? Let's call one thousand, okay? Okay. So now let's see the result here. Okay. So to my not be refreshed now it's a refreshed okay so you can see the energy consumptions okay so sometimes if there is very less okay so you, you cannot see uh, the any data here okay but some of the case I have running large code okay so you can see there is some emissions rate but in this case you are seeing there is nothing more energy consumption not consume anything if you're taking less time sometimes it's saying zero because there's no you know measurement you need for very small numbers so very small fractions okay so that's why we are not able to see result but in this case i studied i've executed this code not started today i executed 23 you can see and i got this result okay so you can also check so this was everyone so if you find this video helpful please do like and subscribe and also you can comment down below is this important or for as a so is this important for software developer or not sustainable code practices are essential for uh, protecting our environment and future generation so by tracking and optimizing energy consumption we can reduce our carbon footprint so thank you for watching if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe for more tech insights.